In SharePoint 2013, uh, we have significant changes um, regarding the interface, for example. And here we are on the home site, which is called departments. And we have one, two, three subsites. Um, before we could see on SharePoint 2010 that we had the site action uh, drop down menu here, but we don't have it anymore. So most of the time that you want to create something new like an app because they are called apps now uh, in SharePoint 2013. So list, libraries, um, subsites, what you need to do is you need to go on the site contents. So we're going to click on the site contents and here you can create apps. Uh, libraries or lists. Um, here at the bottom you can see that you have new subsites. So we're going to click on this and we're going to create a new subsite. We're going to call it sales. We can give it a description. Um, team site for the sales department. Uh, the process is uh, mostly the same that in 2010 but um, give it the URL sales and you can choose the template that you want. We're going to leave it at the team site. Then uh, again, you can choose for the permission. Do you want the same permissions or do you want unique permissions? We're going to leave it the same permissions. And do you want this to be displayed on the quick launch? No. Um, display the site on the top link bar of the parent site? Yes. Uh, do you want to use the top link bar from the parent site? I'm going to choose yes because I want them to be um, aside, all the subsites aside. And then you just have to click create. Um, then it's going to process and create the new subsite. And you can see the new subsite in here. Um, you can remove this if you don't want it and it will be available anywhere here. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to remove it and you can see that it's uh, going to be available from the setting menu anyway. Um, now what we can do is um, delay this site, which is the, the same process, except that we have to go and uh, take the link somewhere else. So if we want to delay the site, we just have to be on the site first, the sales size, for example, and go on the gear icon that we have there. You go to site settings and then um, it's the same that in SharePoint 2010. You just go on delete this site and make sure that you want to delete it. So click delete and are you sure you want to send this site to the site re recycle bin? Yes. So click OK and then the site is deleted. So go back to the site and then it disappears.